Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about getting back to your basics a bit and how this full moon can help you. So the full moon that is coming, it is frequently called the hunter's moon. It comes sort of after the harvest moon. There's also eclipses happening, what we commonly call eclipse season. We just had a solar eclipse. We have a lunar eclipse. And all of these influence can feel like they're jostling you or nudging you. It can feel pushy. It can feel like you're confused. You don't know which way to go. Like you're a flag flapping in the breeze. You're not sure what to focus on. I'm going to tell you one thing, love. And I don't just mean any love. This is a traditional thinning of the veils time of year. There's a lot of tradition. There's a lot of honoring our ancestors, but this also makes it good to get rid of generational things, ancestral things, and head towards that new year. Next year is going to really be a doozy for some people, and I really encourage you, please get on board with doing the light body work. I'm going to also say this, Twin Flames is about love. It's not about getting distracted with all the other stuff like conspiracy theories because when you focus on love, the love comes to you, it's that simple. You're the people that you look around you and you're like, oh, those people have seven little buttons lit up on them. I actually have 20 or 22, yes you do. And you can ask yourself things like this, Okay, instead of thinking like, what's wrong with me or what, does your nervous system have an injury? Do the things in your head have an injury? Is this ancestral? Is it generational? Is it being passed down from generation to the next generation? What you want to do is make this personal because if this is you questioning it right there, it's on you. You responded, therefore you can be responsible for it and start nipping it in the butt. You do it in the highest and fastest way through your brand new light body. That's what it is designed for. Some of the other things that you may or may not be aware of is this moon is a gateway. What that means is you can much more easily begin to connect through the dimensions. This could be with what feels like physical touch that I call the etheric touch. It could be with your messages. It could be a switch up in your direction. Now, if you are someone who, you know, works pretty much Monday through Friday, a nine to five job, you're going to find ascending as a twin flame a challenge. It's just challenging. What I need to let you know is that it doesn't have to be a challenge. That is what I'm here for. Get empowered for what you need to do, okay? Because you will need to do something at some point. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You could be dragged along. You're going to get nudged. You're going to find that things can happen very rapidly. Or you could decide to do it in your way, at your speed, by using the gifts that I have that are here to help you make it easy for you. It's not easy, okay? This is tough love. The people who do nothing will find that they get nothing. And I'm not saying that against people. I just know how people are. They're kind of like, oh, what if? I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm not sure what to study or what to do. That's how I focus you. We keep it very simple. We kiss it. We keep it simple and sweet. Because the more you connect and connect and connect, with that 5D love, the easier, simpler, elegant, above board it all gets. You up level, you upgrade, you put those upgrades and downloads to good use. Are you using talk therapy for your ascension? Not going to work the same way because you may be talking to people that just simply don't get it. So if we talk about this time of year and we say, what would we like to harvest? What would we like to harness or hunt? What are you seeking? And what can we do to put those things, those parts of us to good use? How can we do this? How come you are activated? 
Okay, it's not just to make you a better person. Being a better person prepares you for the ultimate love of your entire existence. And most people just aren't there yet. It's not their fault. It is simply because you're here to heal from the things that do run in your families, that run in the human family, the entire world. In fact, you can talk to people the world over. You'll find that people have common childhood things common childhood traumas, similar dream times, similar things that they've had to overcome. And you're here to reset yourself. You're here to lead a different life and one where you can tangibly feel that love supporting you. So in order to get you started, I'm running a special program called Love Moon, The Thinning of the Veils. Can you reach between the veils? Can it reach for you? Okay. If it's been a really long time for you, or you're wondering, how do I get that love and feeling back? If you're saying things like, I want to help humanity, but I can't stand people. Look at what they're doing. Yeah. This time of year is full of horror. Okay. And I don't just mean like Halloween because not everyone celebrates Halloween, but we can't memorialize those things. We have to remember love. We have to get back to our really our true nature because we're created from it. Now, the paradox is, is that this isn't a talk thing either. I could talk it and talk it and talk it and tell you. I want you to experience it. And that's my gift. I help people experience and re-experience and create their experiences so that they have it again and again you can actually be in that delicious level you could actually feel what it's supposed to be like so tough love you gotta do some of the steps so thanks so much i have hope you have a good day i hope you have a a good moon join us i'm doing it live in chicago and there's two times depending on what your time zone is see the description in the links below bye now